What's up, everybody? It's Bella. Welcome back to Stray Gods. We had left off. Holy fucking shit, is all I gotta say. We went to Hades because Persephone was like, hey, we can talk to the fates. Hey, we can get your friend back. Hey, I can get my throne in the meantime. Look it up. It's a win, win, win. <laughs> no, the fuck it wasn't. Okay, I'm ready to fucking beat Persephone's ass. Okay, I would lose, but I do it. So what happened was we get down there. We have a duel with fucking, not Hephaestus. Well, fuck. Whatever the guy's name was. He gives up the throne. We give it to her. And then she smashes it. So we did that for fucking nothing. And then she's like, oh, by the way, we actually can't get your friend back from the dead. And by the way, you actually can't talk to the fates. I was just here for my own selfish purposes. Fuck you, Persephone. But we did get a chance to talk to Freddy's ghost. Give her a nice big old hug, which always made me burst into tears. And then she said that she found someone down here that we need to meet. So we're going to get right into it. And I'm spitting everywhere, but I don't give a shit because I'm mad. She's here! We can talk to her! <sighs> Hi! Calliope? This... You, you can't be real. Your soul is inside Grace. I My just don't... Yeah. is inside Grace. The rest of me... Does that happen to everyone then? Can we talk to everybody? This is real. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. They weren't just friends. I, uh, guess you two were better acquainted than you said, huh, Persephone? Aww. We parted ways years ago. Persephone couldn't take my lectures any longer. I take them now. <laughs> I miss them. Aww. No, I'm so fucking pissed at you, though. Think about how bitterly we argued at the end. Aww. Don't blame yourself. Not when there are so many fond memories to cherish instead. <laughs> oh my I god. Don't get it. I thought the Eidolon was Calliope's soul. I guess it's her godhood, if though. That's it's true, different. Then the Eidolon is what makes us an idol, but it's not our soul. Each of us adds a piece to it as it passes on. So are you gonna but die as I get your the memories? memories? The memories are but a reflection. And after the Eidolon is passed on, so are the other become Calliope's here? A reflection of a reflection. Interesting. That's why the idols have forgotten so much. You knew this truth once, Persephone. Long ago. Damn. Tell us what we happened. Need to know what happened to you, Calliope. How did you die? Why was it the fates? Come to me? If you were in trouble, I would have protected you. I know you would have, but I couldn't let you be drawn into Apollo's prophecy as well. What? Apollo's prophecy? He didn't tell you? No, I don't suppose he could have. It's a long story. We got fucking time, tell me! Start with Apollo. How is he involved in all this? Apollo oh, she doesn't have her hat! Girl, oh, Freddy doesn't have her hat! Reluctance. A prophecy that said I needed to die. What? And who did he deliver this prophecy to? Athena. Athena. I fucking no. knew it! Then she sent the Furies after me when I went to the reliquary. I barely escaped. I, I fled knew it. back to the mortal world. To you. Why did you go there in the Why first did you place? Go to the reliquary. We know about the mirror, but you Why did wanted you use to it? annul the prophecy. Yeah. And the fates are the only ones who could, if they would even help me. I doubted it, but I was desperate. I never Damn. got the chance to ask. Someone told Athena where I was going, and who told Athena where you were going? She realized what I meant to do. But uh, how did she get the Furies to attack you? They aren't pets. You didn't break any of the old laws. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's something the ruler of the idols can do. Huh. But you'd have to ask Athena. I don't want to. You went to Pan for the you key. You went to Pan for the <clears throat> key to the reliquary, right? Pan yes. told Athena. He's the reason I knew about Nyx's mirror, actually. He told me about it long ago. He told Medusa. There's so many people. Went. She, I expect, told Athena. There are so many people unknowingly involved in her death. What it would mean. I didn't explain. 
That's it. You forgive him, just like that. You didn't kill her. I'm sure he feels guilty enough, my love. Why me? Why come to me? Of all the places you could have run to, why come to my apartment? How'd you know where I live? Because First I was off. dying. But I couldn't save you. I barely even knew you. I was yeah. wandering the streets that night, wondering if I should go to the reliquary or just flee. And I heard you singing. I followed you home after to see where you lived. Creepy, but I didn't I get know it. what would happen to me, but I thought, just in case, I knew I had to hold out until I reached you. So you could pass on your thing to me. You didn't give me a choice. I wish you hadn't. You didn't give me any choice. That's not what I, I thought I was going to say. I thought I would at least have time to explain. Yeah. Yeah, she was supposed to- Oh! Hakate says she was supposed to die in 11 months. But then, she made her fate come quicker. So that's why she was surprised that it came so soon. I probably wouldn't have believed you. Yeah. The Furies, they- They kept coming. It was all I could do just to reach you. I guess so. I am so sorry, Grace. I truly did not mean for it to be like this. It's okay. It's not your fault that someone wanted to kill you. Apollo Tell me about the prophecy. Why would he have given a prophecy to Athena? Yeah, why? Because she demanded it. She was desperate. How did you even find out? Yeah. Apollo was horrified after he delivered the prophecy, and he refused to stay silent. And he came to warn me. He okay. was torn. Telling me meant I was locked into it. Fuck. I still think he did the right thing. Though That's I why he's been so quiet and all this. What did it say? What was the prophecy? Surely I need to hear it. Yeah. If I tell you, you'll be locked into it. Just so like I'll me. die. But the prophecy doesn't just say you have to die. There's more to it, right? They always require interpretation. Apollo but we can't told know it. Athena that. He begged her not to jump to conclusions, but maybe it's saying that right. she has to die as well. It's about it me. It doesn't too. just involve you, does it? It involves me. It must, or you wouldn't hesitate. She can't say, or else it, it'll do that. Athena wanted to know if there was a way to save the idols. Was there? The answer was this. The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. And I'm the last muse. Yeah. And now you know the prophecy. And now she's gonna die. Do you blame Do Athena? You blame Athena for what she did? I don't care if she blamed him, I'm fucking pissed. She wanted to save the idols. And I wanted that too. Well, I blame her. And Apollo for not telling us what she'd done. I don't think Apollo knew If he had, Grace would have been locked into the same fate as Calliope. We... We, we don't know that. You're the one who's saying you, you're locked into it when it's said. So she has to die. This isn't fair. It isn't fair, Freddy. This isn't how it's supposed to go. <laughs> no, it's not. How are we gonna tell everybody that she's dead? You two gonna sing now? So many years of history fights the hearts of misery. I'm so proud of you. It's time to go. Fucking hell, man. I never try so before. I'll trapped my world so far from shore. Oh, more about the shore. But it's time to go. I don't want it to be time to go. What do I do without you? Oh, fuck. Oh, 
hawk. Wasn't that the song she was singing in the beginning? No, but she doesn't have her hat because I took it with me, so I was about to cry. I'd give anything to get you back. I gotta let her go. I don't want to, but I gotta. But if I'm gonna die anyway, I could've- Fuck, I should've picked the red one, so I'm gonna die anyway. I would've- I'll-, I'll tr Fuck! I don't want it to be. I'm so proud, Grace. Freddy, I gave everything to watch you go. I know. Now it's time to go. Fuck, I don't want to go! Oh, the fire's dying. No. No, why did the fire go out? Oh. Oh. Saying goodbye is a trophy I got. Fuck you. Fuck you, game, and your trophies. Apollo? What the Tur fuck? I'm pissed. Apollo, you motherfucker. I have to talk and with you. I see Freddy isn't with you. I'm so sorry, Grace. Did you at least get to speak? No, because Persephone fucking lied to me, and so did you. Then what happened? Then found Calliope. We found Calliope. Calliope, but her eidolon is inside you. How it could... doesn't work like that. The eidolon is only a part of an idol. Yeah, yes, it's not all just... of it. Calliope told us what happened. The prophecy. How you warned her. How you've been lying to Bitch, us. you've been lying to us too! Don't fucking act like you're all high and mighty! You knew the truth this entire time. Even when you said you were helping Grace. Yes. Yes, I did. It's not tr <sighs> Ah! You were just trying Go to with it, I guess. Me, right? You didn't want me to share Calliope's fate. I thought I, I hope could that's why. you in the right direction. Help you find the truth without learning about the prophecy. Oh, she's pissed. Well, you failed. We know it now. Then it's done. You're locked into it. Isn't Great. the prophecy open to interpretation? Couldn't you be wrong about how it ends? When am I not wrong, Grace? <laughs> okay. You know what all. That's right. Leave. It's what you're best at. Persephone, shut the fuck up. You're no better than he is. I don't know how this will affect your trial. We could tell them what we've learned. Even without proof, it makes enough sense that Athena couldn't just brush it off. Yeah. But if she believes you need to die in order to save the idols, if she truly believes that... It won't matter what anyone says. We should make a deal. Does there still need to be a trial? If we go to Athena privately, maybe we could work out some kind of deal. She won't make a deal. All that will afford her is a chance to kill you before the trial. Yeah. <sighs> she tried that once already. And yeah. your friend died as a result. Mm-hmm. No. No, it's a clever thought, but... Athena needs to be challenged in front of everyone. Yeah. I intend to keep my promise. We go to the trial and I'll help you, even if it means overthrowing Athena. Calliope would approve. I guess but she would. No, no, just so you understand, our chances aren't good. I suggest you do whatever necessary to prepare. I will, trust me. Great. She didn't have a solo, I feel like she needs it right now.
confront Persephone, confront Pan, confront Apollo. Speak to everyone before the trial. Fucking hell. <sighs> Let's look at the journal real quick, though. Okay, this is with Orpheus. It seems that the greatest bard of ancient Greece, Orpheus, has powers similar to mine. So when he showed up in the underworld throne room, him and I, <laughs> he and I duked it out musically until I found it convinced himself this whole vendetta of his wasn't worth it and was trying to move on. Last I saw him, he and his few shades left Hades, who supported him, wandered off into the shadows together. Hope they find their rest. Probably not. There's nothing more for you. Nothing more for Hecate, I don't think, anyway. Yeah. Medusa, nothing more for her, nor Venus, Eros, Pan. There are probably stuff with Pan, though. Turns out that plan wasn't lying. He Is he innocent? No, he was... Was he the killer? No, he saw that Calliope and told Medusa where she was. Medusa probably told Athena, so Athena summoned the Furies to kill Calliope, but Pan probably had no idea what would happen. So I guess it's good to know the whole truth, finally. It took me fucking forever. But I'm still fucking pissed at Persephone for lying to me, though. Except it was a lie, all of it. Maybe it was Persephone originally agreed to help me and had been her plan all along, or maybe she just couldn't resist the opportunity. The entire trip to the underworld was Persephone trying to get what she wanted and nothing more except what Apollo accused her of. Even so, I couldn't help the th couldn't keep the throne from her. Persephone needed to realize on her own that it was an obsession which brought her nothing but misery. So she decided to destroy the throne. As for the lying and the manipulation in bringing me here just to get in the first place, well, the conversation we'll have when we get back into the real world. Or that'll be a conversation we have. On a separate note, I learned that Persephone and Calliope were in love. They weren't just friends, they were a couple. I guess they broke up a couple years ago, but the way Persephone acted from the start makes so much more sense now. Yeah. Well, I tried to talk to Persephone once we got back to the apartment, but she wasn't having it. If I want to tell this, I have to hunt her down for whatever good that'll do. I need to talk to fucking Eddie and everybody. This is the last hurrah. This is it. Hopefully I can finish it in this episode because I don't want to leave it there. Oh my god. Well, we have our murderer. It was Athena all along. I fucking knew it. We got straight from Calliope herself. Athena went to Apollo for the prophecy as they had to save the idols. The idols cannot continue as long as the muses live. Calliope was the last of the muse and it was, and then it was me. So we had to go. She had it in for me from the very start. She never intended to let me live no matter what I did. Thing is, I don't ex exactly have proof of this. Somehow I doubt Athena would back down even if I did oh apparently she can also summon the furies you know and bottom me of retribution that my powers don't even work on uh this is gonna be trouble isn't it yes it is yes it's like I thought Persephone agreed that Athena isn't likely to stop now the trial will go forward and if Athena thinks killing me will save the idol she'll do it meaning we'll all have to just find a way to stop her if if we can how exciting yeah how oh so exciting can I be 100% honest with you? The only person that I'm not fucking pissed off at now that I actually want to woo and everything- Wait, does this- Where does it start? Okay, wait, it's okay, it's down here. The only person who I'm not pissed off at is two people. It's fucking Freddy and- Who, who else was it? Freddy and Eros. Those are the only two people I'm pissed off at. Pan I'm a little upset at, but I'm not, like, pissed off at. I'm fucking- Fuck you, dude. We knew Apollo knew who the murderer was all along. Athena came to him for a prophecy on how to save the idols, and he gave it to her. But it doesn't make any sense. If Apollo knew about the prophecy, why did he stop Athena from killing me at the start? Why didn't he have? Why did he help me? Calliope said he's lying. Calliope said he's lying to protect me, so it prevent me from sharing her fate. But I know the prophecy now, so whatever it is, I'm locked into it. I, all Apollo's lies were for nothing. I think we're due a very serious conversation when I get back. That's what all those serious conversation things are about. God, I gotta go. Tried to talk to Apollo when I got back to the apartment and give him the benefit of the doubt, but it didn't get very far. He basically admitted to everything Calliope said and then left a left a bunch of apologies. All if I want to really talk to him about this, I'll have to meet be at his beach house. Yes, I will. Oh, I haven't talked to her in a little bit. Hermes there isn't anything either. Calliope. Oh, my love. As for what we learned in the underworld, holy crap, Calliope was there. I guess her soul and the idol on her separate things, which even Persephone didn't know. The important thing is that Calliope was there and I got to talk to her and she told us everything. It was Athena. She received a prophecy from Apollo saying the idols were... Say... Yeah, Jesus. It was Athena. She received a prophecy from Apollo to save the idols and that's why she summoned the Furies. She can do that. To kill Calliope, to try and keep that from happening. The idols cannot continue as long as the last muse lives. I became the last news after Calliope's death, and now Athena wants me dead to keep the idols safe. This is huge. Oh, hell yeah, it is. Wait, hold on. Look at Freddy's thing. Oh, Freddy. You don't have your hat anymore. You look so naked without your hat in the underworld. Oh, fuck. I did the Orphesis thing. I went to the underworld to get Freddy back, but it was a lie. There was no way to get her back. What more Freddy didn't want to? What's more, as Freddy didn't want to. She chose to sacrifice herself. She said that wasn't taking it back. At, at least I got to say goodbye. I miss her so much. Uh, I wish I could have sacrificed myself for her, honest to God. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, who do I want to I want to talk to fucking Apollo first, bitch. Let's fucking go on. I got some words for you. <sighs> I think I'm mad at him most because he's the one I've been wooing this entire series. I'm like, Apollo? You motherfucker. Oh, uh, you you broke you. my trust. Yeah, where's Apollo? Paul comes in, mopier than his usual mopey self, and won't say a word about why. But of course, it's you. I know, I know care. you care about Apollo. I'm not here to hurt him. Uh-huh, yeah. And, uh, why should I believe you? Because he's the one because who's been an asshole? he did what he did with the best of intentions. Yeah. That... That does sound like him, yeah. I... Sorry I keep putting this on, like, I every I can go ask him episode or show. Don't be surprised if he says no, though. My lips are so dry, right, especially Oracle. with the cold weather. Oh, hi! You're here. I think Grace and I need a moment alone, if you please. Oh, sure. Don't mind me. Not like I was in the middle of anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, she's taking the chips. <laughs> hi. I didn't mean for it to end up this way. I know you didn't. I'm worried about so you. So you've said. I'm more worried about you, actually. I'm worried not, but I'm me. just saying that. After all you've been through. I lost Freddy. I can't lose anyone else. Oh, damn. When I first became Apollo, I was so sure I could help people. Help the world. I ignored the warnings. You have no idea how many lives I ruined before I stopped. Damn. I never should have given in to Athena. This one time, I thought. So, do you know it, or do you have to figure it maybe out? It will be different. Does he? Did he know, like, from the get-go before I even told Athena that people would have to die? You don't know everything. You don't know everything, Apollo. Half the problem is that you and every other idol thinks they do. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Trying to prevent the prophecy is what's making it come true. So One opens Mises' destiny on the road he takes to avoid it! Maybe. Maybe. I hope you can forgive me, Grace. There's nothing to forgive. Get over yourself. I don't know if- I don't want to save- that one day, we'll be as close friends as you were with Calliope. Oh. Are my romance so things gonna come to in at all? Whatever happens, Grace, I'll be standing right there by you. Thank you. Why can't I do any romance things with him? Is this because I missed the first romance thing in the beginning? God damn it. Uh, let's talk to Pan. <sighs> uh, Pan? I want to be mad Pan at here? everybody, but I just can't, I don't think I can be. Because no one directly did it. it I, I get it. Apollo did lie, but he did it because Damn. if he told the truth, I was going to die no matter what. Even though we did end up finding the truth. And then Persephone did it. Persephone I'm pissed off at more because she did it for her own selfish reasons and told me I could get my friend back and then she didn't. Where is Pan? Alright then. Guess I'll just head off. I thought you didn't want to see me anymore. You're not here to yell at me, are you? No. I want to apologize. No, I, uh, wanted to apologize. Apologize? To me? Well. For thinking you might be behind Calliope's That's different. <laughs> He's like, someone wants to apologize to me? Case. Oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> then you've learned something, haven't you? I learned it was Athena. It would have been nice if I could have one Something last song with everybody. Not exactly like, pleasant. have a song with Apollo, have a song with Pan, have a I song see. with Persephone. Isn't that always the way? Yeah. Tell you what, Grace. Let's indulge in one last transaction. Relay what you've learned, and I'll see if I have any advice to offer. Sounds fair enough. Tell him everything. Yeah. No harm in doing it now. Okay. Where do I begin? And well, everything. of course it was Athena. See, he knew too. Wait, you knew? No, how could I? 
But it's also mm. Athena, so. So what now? Let the prophecy but, play hmm, out. I'm not sure if I do. Huh? What? Let it play out. It doesn't say the last muse will die. Just that she must for the idols to continue. Perhaps the idols shouldn't continue. Seems reasonable enough. Do you mean like their godhood? Went to Athena. I doubt Athena would. Maybe okay, because their idols are different from their actual souls. Because the idols are just their their eidolons are just their godhood. You know what I mean? I don't know, but even then, that seems well, cool to have everyone else die just because I don't want to. Yes, well, if history says anything about the idols, it's that we're a bunch of reactionaries who make poor decisions. That's, that sounds about right. <laughs> is long overdue. Mm -hmm. Continuing on as we have been isn't appealing, and I doubt I'm the only one who thinks so. Yeah. I'm rather looking forward to the trial now. <laughs> How exciting. Damn. She's like, what just happened? <laughs> is that it? Is that all I gotta do to talk to him? Oh, I thought there'd be more. Everyone, this, okay, this is so the last fucking hurrah. Day seven! Oh, shit. Wait, was there anything with Apollo after talking to him? I don't think there was. I didn't see a, a journal update or anything. I hate that it takes so long to get to the bottom of the fucking journal. I wish I could just, whoop, like, touch screen and just, whoop. That'd be amazing. Okay, there's a thing. Went to the beach house. I tried to make it clear to Apollo that I understood why he did what he did, but of course he took the opportunity to beat himself up some more. I mean, I'm not thrilled about it, but I get it. I guess I'll see what comes next at the trial. And then who did I just talk to? Pan, right? At least he doesn't... Oh, no, Pan does have a lot. Fuck. Went to Pan, told him everything that happened. To his credit, he listened, and I don't think he'll sell out... Sell me out to Athena before the trial. Lesson learned, maybe. His advice surprised me. I let the prophecy play out. If the idols don't continue, and then... Then they don't continue. It's a pretty surprising attitude from an idol. Say what you want about Pan. He'll never... He's never what you expect. That is true. Uh, I gotta confront Persephone. But I'm gonna leave it there. As much as I don't want to, I have to leave it there. Um, blah, I don't want to make... The reason I'm leaving it here is because I don't want to make the last episode five minutes long. Okay? So I'm gonna leave it there. Next episode, we're gonna confront Persephone. We're apologizing to everybody. We're being nice about it. Even though I am a little bit upset at Persephone the most. I'm not going to fucking lie. But we need everyone on our side. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Next episode, we shall confront Persephone. Like I already said, I'm repeating myself. Oh my god. And then we shall confront Athena at my trial. But until then, my name is Bella. I'll see you guys in the next one. And peace.